Hey guys, so it's your girl Bella. It's me, and I'm at Big Up with Beach Research Day. Keep with island clean, so clean. From the streets to the beach, so clean. Now that tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. Today we're here presenting on the beach, also recycled objects that use the dispose and that are disposed at the beach. Here we have made from disposable plastic spoons. Here we have some like pieces and holders made from bamboo. I'm here with the hat ladies from Westwood High. Megita hat boy. So as you can see, I want you to imagine this diagram with those other individual of the people. Right? No, Bermuda beach is a very beautiful place. As we say, Guess who I'm with? I'm with Murad Behai and them teachers said them work too hard so me interested to hear about this project here. We made a model of our study area. It's in the of Elder Park. It's in the capital of St. Thomas Murad Bay. However, it's plagued by a problem as you can see. Poor garbage disposal leaves out of garbage being found on the beach. This is a gully that empties up into the sea on the beach. So when people deposit their garbage all over the place at heavy rainfall, wash it down into the gully which begins in a community called Brown's Gully and it runs off into the sea. So they put me a garbage? Yes. yes. First yes. thing means yes. first garbage in there. And then that's a tire? Yes. yes. And you go away that bag of things from the beach, yeah, man. Yes. So persons at the beach mistaking the sea for garbage. Very close to our school, and it is one of the messiest beach down this section. And it is located located at the east coast, east end coast of the very north. You want to go beach? Just tell me if you want to go beach. Pick up the beach, pick up the beach, pick up the beach, pick up the beach, go beach. You want to go beach? Just tell me if you want to go beach. Good afternoon. I am Mr. Ford. And I am Mr. Clarence. And, and welcome, welcome to Fort Clarence. This is a module of the bond within community important to the important language. And it is showing the impact that garbage has on the It shows that the garbage is not at home. On the school ground, somehow it ends up on the beach because of the drains and not enough beans are provided for garbage to be thrown. And it also shows that not only the Potter Tunnel High School but the Bongo Primary and from the Bongo Primary. Okay, guys, so this is Spalding High School. Ray, whoa, <laughs> And we have two faces from last year. What's your name again? Wayne Wallace. Wayne and and them come back this year. All right, so you guys tell me about your project. What to do? We made some things from the waste on the beach. Placement mats. Oh, recycle material. Yes. Okay. Beach wrap. We also made a gar a garbage bin from the beach. Oui. Oui. garbage. Yes. Welcome to the third staging of the Clean Coasts Project Research Day and Awards. My name is Bella Blair, and I will be your host for this afternoon. Keep with island clean, so clean. From the streets to the beach, so clean. Now that tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. No dash no paper, no dash no plastic. Dispose your garbage responsibly. No know how to recycle. Learn it quick, and if you drop it, better pick up every piece of it. Plastics last forever. Don't forget the bits. Them wash from the streets to the gully to the sea. End up on the reef where the fish them feed. And when you want seafood, I eat your eat.